Kuna sauti na siki kajangwani Nikisema tayarishe ni mapito Na njia iwe sawa Yesu anakuja mawane ya jazwe Na milima yote ipate kushushwa Basi we na vizu hizi njiani Kuna sauti na siki kajangwani Nikisema tayarishe ni mapito Na njia iwe sawa Yesu anakuja mawane ya jazwe Na milima yote ipate kushushwa Basi we na vizu hizi njiani Ajale ni mwani mungu Tenda ni mfane wa amadi Nive maatu kutetayari Siku hiyo akirejea Ajale ni mwani mungu Tenda ni mfane wa amadi Nive maatu kutetayari Siku hiyo akirejea Good afternoon. Praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to Kamagambo Adventist College Sanctuary. And uh, may you feel welcome. I'm your brother, Pastor Michael Onyango, the chaplain of Kamagambo. And may God bless you. Those who are getting us. Uh, the viewers uh, from far and wide, may God bless you abundantly. Thank you so much. And as usual, uh, my, my mask is here. My mask is here. And uh, as usual, let me try this. You never know, you never know this pulpit, as we are told. I think I'm now safe, I'm now safe. Thank you so much, thank you. May God bless you. The topic of uh, the hour is bitterness to betterness. Bitterness to betterness. And we are going to go through the book of Exodus chapter 15. We'll start from verse 22 to verse 25. Let's pray. We thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to serve you and to worship you even when things are not right. And so be with us, Lord. May you speak to us this hour. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, the book is Exodus chapter 15. Exodus chapter 15, verse 22 to 25. 15, 22 to 25. And the Bible say, So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. Then they went out into the wilderness of Shur. And they went three days into the wilderness and found no water. Verse 23. Now, when they came to Mara, they could not drink the waters of Mara, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Mara. I think we can do from that verse. The Bible says that the children of Israel are of Red Sea. And they are making songs of Moses and the sister. And then after that, the Bible tells us that three days they march into the wilderness and found no water. Let me repeat this. No water. Three days after what the Lord has just done across the Red Sea. Beloved, I've realized something. That Sir Jonah's life is full of ups and downs. Sir Jonah's the life is full of ups and downs. Challenges mixed with joy and pain always. 
It is never ups only and it is never downs only. The child, the life of Sir Jonas is full of ups and downs. I don't know whether you are getting me. Let us try again. It is only three days after singing and dancing of the children of Israel because of what the Lord did. And what did the Lord do? The Lord made them cross over. The Lord made them cross over. They crossed the Red Sea as a dry land. Exodus chapter 13 and chapter 14 is full of giving the ups. It's full of talking. You're looking at the life of the children of Israel. Today, this one is lacking their crying. Until after that, the Lord has given them answer. Then the Lord leads them across through the Red Sea. And my final, uh, and in chapter 15, then the songs and the dances. And after the songs and the dances, I want to repeat. Pain. Why pain? Because the waters of Mara were bitter. And people decided to cry to Moses. And Moses turned to God and cried to God. And 15 verse 24, that is where we want to measure in. Chapter 15 verse 24, God showed him, God showed Moses, God showed the leader, God showed him a tree, a wood. 15 24, the Bible say, And the people complained against Moses saying, What shall we drink? So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a trick. When he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. My brothers, my sisters, my ears, the viewers, life of the children of Israel, sudden change from the sound of timbrels, sudden change from the voice of joy. Sudden change from the happiness and the dancing. Sudden change when people are dancing and singing. Three days after that, the children of Israel get into mourning. Sudden change. What a sudden change. They thought that even after passing through the Red Sea, things will be right. They knew for sure that this problem should be over after passing through the Red Sea. And they made a song. And they dancing of these songs. And the sound of the timbrels. And all these things. They entered into mourning. They came into bitter waters of Mara. They grumbled. And this world sometimes may make you even remember. This world can make you remember. Even before you got married. This world can make you remember. Even before you got into that wealth. That this world can make you remember your life even before Jesus, before you were born again. This life can make you remember. The children of Israel remembers their time in captivity. That that time was better than this particular time when God has chosen them are walking with them. My writer, my preacher, I call him Professor Spurgeon. When he talks of this incident, he says, It was as sensible as the conduct of a dog which bites the stick, which it is bitten, saying, I owe no anger to the stick, but to the person who uses it. In other words, the children of Israel grumbled against Moses. They did not know that they were grumbling to God himself. Beloved, this world can fix you. It can place you into a moment that you grumble. You can even grumble unto the Lord. This one was indirect. But I'm speaking to somebody here that you might have grumbled directly. A time when you ask God, where are you? God, why do you allow me to stay today? God, why did you give me this children? God, why did you allow me to go to school if there is joblessness? A time that you can even grumble against God directly. And these children of Israel are grumbling to God through Moses. And so Spurgeon puts it, it is like as sensible as the conduct of a dog which bites the stick. Because the stick was used to cane it. Chapter 15 verse 24. 
And when Moses cried to God, God showed him a wood. God showed him a tree. God showed him. Beloved, beloved. The children of Israel are meeting a point when there is hopelessness. They are reaching a point when things are not right. They are reaching a point when they don't know what to do. Behind they can't. Forward they can't. And all these things. No, they pass through that. And again they are going into another when there is no water that they can drink. And the thirst is there. Now they decide to cry to Moses. And Moses as usual. When the children of Israel are crying to him, he decides to cry to the Lord and he turns to the Lord and he tells God, God, look at your children. They are now crying unto me. My Bible tells me, God, let us try, let us try. 1524, 1525. So he cried to the Lord and the Lord showed him a tree. Hallelujah. Who do you think placed that tree there? God brings a tree which has been made by God himself. When it was thrown into the bitter water, the water became sweet. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. My writer in the book of Ministry of Healing 75185 Ministry of Healing 7585 even today Listen to this, what the writer talks about this. For every trial, God has provided help ready. Hallelujah. The tree was there. The wood was there. For every trial, God has provided help ready. Beloved, whatever you're going through, there is readiness. There, 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 there. Your help is there. And it proceeds to say, when Israel in the desert came to the bitter waters of Mara, Moses cried out to the Lord. The Lord did not provide some new remedy. Mm -mm. He called attention to that which was at hand. Jesus the wood. Jesus the tree. Jesus was there. He had walked with the children of Israel. Beloved, I'm going mad about Jesus. He was there. He was there right with the children of Israel. He was available. God uses the available to him. What is this that can make this water? I'm talking about this. We need this wood, beloved. We need this wood. We need this tree. We need this formula that the Lord gave to the children of Israel, particularly to Moses. We need the tree, beloved, in Proverbs 3, 18. This is the tree of life. Those who live are better with this tree. This is the tree of life, beloved. We need this tree. We need this wood. The wood which can bring the bitter water into betterness. Praise the Lord. We need the tree. In Genesis 8, 11, no use the same tree so that you would make a new earth. Hallelujah. We need the tree. Beloved, you need the tree even if you don't want it. You need the tree. The book of Luke chapter 19 from verse 1. You remember Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus when he needed salvation, he had to go on top of a tree. You need the tree, beloved. The tree that Zacchaeus, when he wanted the salvation, when he needed a new life in Jesus, you need the tree, beloved. You need your life. You don't need it. You need, beloved, you need this tree. Galatians 3, 13. The tree is salvation. So, beloved, we need this tree. And this tree is Jesus. Why? You see, it made Zacchaeus well. The same tree that I knew used so that he would make the new earth. This is the tree, the same tree that was there with the children of Israel from Egypt. And it was walking there. The ready, the ready tree or wood which was there. Beloved, you need the tree. Allow me put it right. The same tree where when Jesus came on this world. That Jesus had to be fed on the same tree. We need the tree, beloved. The cross is all about it. It is all Jesus who can remain with our sins when he dies. Beloved, we need the tree. The tree that made the water, the bitter water of Mara become better. We need it when our waters are bitter. We need the tree. We need the tree, beloved, when things are not right. We need the tree, beloved, when trials abound. We need the tree. We need the tree at our hopelessness. We need the tree. We need this tree, beloved, 
when the coronas of this world are terrifying this world we need the tree we need the tree when our families are not doing fine we need the tree we need this wood beloved we need it we need it when things are not right we need it to restore us we need it to redeem us we need it to save us we need it to make us again we need this tree the tree is available the tree is available beloved the tree is sure of cure of every kind of disease we need the tree we need the tree god told moses that the water is bitter take the tree and throw it into the water and the water will be sweet i give you jesus beloved the tree the tree of life the tree that when you take and you put it in a bitter place like corona the coronas of this world becomes nothing hallelujah we need the tree beloved you need the tree in your home you need the tree at your house you need the tree at your business place uh -uh. you need the tree on your children beloved you need the tree in your education beloved you need the tree when you walk everywhere you need the tree beloved the wood that can make it better the tree is the medicine of bitterness take it the tree is jesus need it that can decide to remain with our sins those who are condemned he remains with the sins and you are put right. The tree is Jesus. God gave it to the children of Israel so that the bitterness can be betterness. May the Lord bless you. I want to pray with somebody tonight. I want to pray with you, beloved. I want to pray with you. I know for sure I, maybe you've reached a tomorrow and your water is bitter and something is not right in your life. Maybe in your home. I want to May you join me, beloved, as we pray for the whole world tonight. Why? Because it is bitter. And God can make it better. And all the thing we need is the tree and the tree and the wood that God can use to make us better. The tree and the wood is Jesus himself. Wherever you are, wherever you are, may you just believe. Yes, maybe it is not bitter in your life. Tomorrow it will, because that is what the Bible says. We are St. Jonas. Maybe you pass through bitterness. I give you Jesus. He can put it, put it right. He can redeem. He can restore. And he can save. Let's pray, beloved. My Father in heaven. It's bitter. And we are thirsty. Bitter. And we are thirsty. Lord, we've seen what you've done. No wonder we live today. Thank you. My viewer, my listener, is struggling with bitterness. I don't understand. But I thank you so much. Because God, you are the only one who can provide a tree. And you provided the tree. The tree which was so available in heaven came down. So that the tree may be fixed. Fixed with our sins and we remain free. May you give us this freedom. Because you are God. Answer our prayer and our cries. I pray in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you so much. Welcome back. Welcome again to Kamagambo. Welcome. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Uwabatize kwa majimengi Aja eni mwalimu mku Tena die mfane wa amani Nivye maatu kutetayari Siku hiyo akirejea Aja eni mwalimu mku Tena die mfane wa amani Nivye maatu kutetayari Kuhiyo akirejea Aja eni mwalimu mku Tena die mfane wa amani Nivye maatu kutetayari Siku hiyo akirejea